Hey guys, I'm here in Jacksonville, home of the Jaguars. Now this is a team that's seen some ups and downs over the past few years, but they're on the cutting edge of a pretty big NFL movement, data and analytics in football. It's kind of like sports stats to the extreme, and I'm going to talk to the guy in charge of it. Now I'm here with this GMC Canyon, which also has a cutting edge feature, built-in 4G LTE internet. That's right, this truck is also a hotspot. That means you can use it to stream video to your tablet or connect multiple devices. Plus, it's not tied to your smartphone. And you can share the connection with a bunch of friends inside or outside. It's like what I'm doing here today so my crew can work on location. Hey, guys. Now, inside the stadium, I'm going to talk to Tony Khan. Around here, he is known as the Stats Geek. He's collecting all kinds of data on his players and the game in an effort to make better decisions and maybe even predict what happens next. Let's go see how he does it. When billionaire auto parts mogul Shad Khan bought the Jaguars in 2011, he made a number of personnel changes. In one key move, he gave his 32-year-old son Tony a job. When my father first bought the Jaguars, we didn't have any application of football analytics in the sense that I was familiar with in other sports like baseball, for example. Analytics have been a game changer in baseball and basketball, and Tony Khan made a point to learn from the best. I was mentored by uh, people like uh, Jeff Lunau from the Houston Astros, the general manager, and uh, Billy Bean uh, from the Oakland A's, and particularly Daryl Morey, the general manager of the Houston Rockets. I really wanted to apply some of what those guys have applied to their teams, to the Jaguars. Do, uh, do we have targeting data in here? So just receptions, but I believe targets yeah, is right below. Khan's goal is simple to gain a competitive edge by studying all the data he can on his players and their opponents. Okay, it applies in baseball pretty simply, but in football it gets way more complicated. Yeah. Why? Because uh, in baseball, you're looking at an isolated one-on-one -on -one matchup between batters and pitchers, and there aren't as many moving pieces, so to speak, as there are in a football game, and it makes it much more complex to calculate. We track hundreds of data points on any given play. A lot of them are giving you a unique perspective, whether it's defensive front or uh, the offensive formation, the alignment of the receivers, whether the quarterback was pressured and how he was pressured, how long it took before the pressure came. Khan and his team use advanced statistical analysis to turn all that data into intelligence that helps the coaches game plan for next Sunday. This was some of the new pressure stuff we were talking about? Yep. All interactive? I was very fortunate when I got here to learn that uh, they already had really the best uh, video technology person in all of football working here. His name is Mike Stober. So he had 15 targets, but only four receptions. Wow, that's surprising. That's really when you go back to the video to find out what, you know, nine missed target. You want to pull him, let's pull him out. Let's watch him. He had set out to tie all the video and data together. He was doing a great job organizing everything, but it wasn't being implemented uh, in actionable items as far as different tendencies on offense and defense and things that have a tendency to lead to success. Those are the things we try to develop. The Jacksonville coaching staff, both on and off the field, have embraced the use of metrics. Strength and conditioning coach Tom Mislinski is one of its main proponents. Before there was no data, and now there's, a, now there's a, a, a plethora of data, and it's really kind of weeding through the data to find out what's pertinent and what's not pertinent, to give that information to the coaches to help them make better decisions on the state of our athletes' preparedness. These are our GPS units that are gonna go in the back of the player's jersey. Most of our DBs, running backs, and tight ends, and a couple of linebackers will have one in their jersey. These units collect a lot of data every second. So we look at velocity, total distance travel, distance traveled at certain speeds, as well as accelerations and decelerations that they do throughout practice. Your holding yesterday was out of control. Oh, I had to hold. You, you tackled a man. I had to hold. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Did he, did, he catch, did he catch the ball? You, you tackled catch, him. Did he catch the ball? On I know what road. I did. You tell me, you telling me something I know Somebody. already. What was your first impression when we wanted to put a GPS monitor on you? I don't know, man. I think I want to see how fast I was. Yeah. See my speed. I see, D-Rob likes to think that he's probably the fastest player on the team, but I think it's changed a little bit now. The GPS changed it? GPS changed oh, it. So I think I need to start speeding up a little bit more. 
All the units, when they come back in after practice, get plugged into these little travel cases here. It's encoded with their own device ID, and then it connects into our computer. All right, so what we're able to see is these are the three tight ends that we mic up every practice, and we get an idea. Julius is this middle one. This would represent um, his first week with us. This would represent his second week, and this is the current week that we're currently in. Where is this all headed? For Khan, the goal is prediction knowing what the other team will do before they do it and how to counter it most effectively. But the ultimate test is victories on the field, which have been difficult to come by for the Jaguars. Still, there are signs of progress. You know, in 2013, we had a roster that was one of the less talented rosters in the NFL. And we started writing some reports for the defense that I think were really, really good. And we opened up 0-8 and then in our next five games, we won four out of five. Hopefully hard work will equal success, but... It's coming. Yeah. Stats have always played a big role in sports, but technology lets us analyze the data like never before. But it also takes innovative thinkers, and hopefully here, the effort pays off.